Hey, I'm Jam. I'm Jason. And welcome back to Podcast Your Life. Yes, we're still here. We're doing the podcast where we share our thoughts in 15 minutes or less, or uh, you're going to test positive? <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry, that's terrible. <laughs> we're here for your 15-minute break from <laughs> COVID-19. That's right. that's right. Yeah, your 15 minutes where we won't talk about it all. Speaking of not talking about um, that, what's our topic today? I believe it is the topic of fans. Ah, yes. Uh, let me turn my on. <laughs> so you mean the object fans. So this is a Jason Kress original suggestion, and I do not know what all is happening inside of his brain about fans, yeah. so we'll find out together. So the thing is, the word fan actually isn't just about the thing on your ceiling mm-hmm. or the thing on your counter. It can also be a person. That's true. A person There's l- there's be literally, a fan. exactly, yeah. There's literally a whole Wikipedia page devoted to fan person. So there you go. Interesting. To all you fan people out there, uh, th- this one is for you. So you can have a fan base, which is a bunch of people. You can not your 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 oscillating fan can also have a base. Yeah, that exactly. Helps it stand up. So it's incredible that they're just Pretty like both. interesting. Yeah. So yeah, that's the thing is that fan. It's so interesting that fan. Um, really is like quite different the two, the several definitions of them are quite different um so a couple of thoughts first a fan is either the thing like you said it's it's something that blows air or two it's a person that's really excited about a specific thing it could be a movie i'm a fan of shawshank redemption i'm a fan of american idol season 7 mm mm-hmm. mhm I'm a I'm, fan. I'm season of, eleven, but yeah, I know what you mean. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but or I'm a fan of you know Fender guitars. You know, mm-hmm. it doesn't have mm-hmm. to be. It can be a sports team. It can be a movie. It can be a food. You know, oh, I'm a fan of lima beans. You know, mm-hmm. so it's person or it's a thing that blows air and cools you down. Here's but a it's question. so different. It's so different. It's like it's not like related at all. Like those two things are not related at all. Yeah. Here's a question. So. What what if any common thread can we find between those two very different definitions? All right, so here's my theory pre research. Okay, okay, pre research. The- yeah, <laughs> research. My theory for where the fan person came from mm-hmm. is that people would show up at like a baseball game in the you know early 1900s, and it would be hot, and so they would bring fans with them, like the little hand fans. And they would fan themselves, and mm-hmm. they would so they would go to the game, and they would like the game, and be, you know, rooting for the home team or whatever. But they'd also all have fans, mm-hmm. and so they could say, "Oh, fans! Look at all those fans sitting over there." You know, yeah. that's my huh. theory. <laughs> I, I like that theory. It's kind of I thought I knew where you're going to go with that theory, and I didn't actually know. And here's <laughs> where did you my think I was going to go. Well, here's my alternate theory. That is what <laughs> okay. I thought you were going to say. Thank you. So. Back in the day, Pharaoh sitting up in his triangle <laughs> palace. It's hot in Egypt, man. It is hot. And he's rich and he's got everything going for him. So much so that he has people that have to fan him. Mm. That's their job. They just have a big old palm branch like you see in the cartoons or whatever. Yeah. And this is all true just, so far. They're just fanning him. And the idea is that he is the important person and oh. they are they are submitting to him. And so oh. then whenever it became like rock stars or whatever, <laughs> it was not exactly the same thing, but it was like, oh, the rock star is like the pharaoh in this situation, and they're submitting oh. to them. Oh. Yeah. That's, I mean, uh, alternate <laughs> theory. I don't know. <laughs> I like that theory. <laughs> I thought you were going to go where you were going to say, this this person was the actual fan because they didn't have electricity back then. So yeah. this person was the literal fan. So fan a person is like a person who is blowing air for a living yeah. or yeah, they yeah. exist. To they blow are waving. Air. Yeah, that's their whole role. Exactly. They are just waving but a thing. I, I, I like how you, you know, talk about the evolution of how that changes. <laughs> yeah. Because they were a fan, but also like just the yeah. thinking of like the hierarchy. Like, okay, yeah. Wow. Pharaoh was, was important and everybody served him or whatever. And then that's deep. To a degree, rock stars or whatever. Yeah, similar that's thing. That's really deep. I am very grateful for that uh, deep um, <laughs> theory. <laughs> Seriously, I'll never look at a rock star or 
the people in the audience the same way again. Mm-hmm. Or Pharaoh, yeah. I'm like, look at them. They're just blowing air in his general direction. It's crazy. <laughs> um, so I think I think the original definition of fan uh, is actually a shortened slang for fanatic. Oh, dude. And and think that probably has like Greek or Latin roots or whatever, but I think mm-hmm. that's where it comes from, mm-hmm. which mm-hmm. makes more sense. That makes definitely more sense. But I think it's so interesting that they've, you know, in the 21st century, as we're recording this podcast, the year mm-hmm. is 2020, they've shortened that to, yeah. you know, just fan. Yeah, yeah, dude, that's so. so nice. I bet some somebody out there, at least one, if not everyone. Was like listening for this however long it's been five minutes and been like guys it's, it's fanatic like that's obvious <laughs> and to us it's like amazing it's like oh fanatic of yeah. course you got an F but, and an A and an N that's all you need but it's funny because we're we're approaching it as if we had zero archaeological <laughs> data about the history uh-huh. of mankind and we're like where does this human word van come from yeah we also like are acting like there's not some book of words somewhere. <laughs> About all the words that are in our language. Yeah. It's a like dictionary. Was, could what? someone put together some book of all these words? At least we could have some idea to get <laughs> what all these words mean. I mean, come on. <laughs> exactly. So there you go. That's uh that's what I've been thinking about lately. <laughs> what so why why have fans come to mind? Like that's I think sometimes we have a reason, sometimes we don't why a topic comes to mind. Most times I feel like some there is a pretty solid reason. Some story, some recent interaction, something like that. That was, I mean, that was my main uh, amalgamation of my thoughts today. But I think the reason why fans have been in the back of my subconscious, I guess, for mm-hmm. a while is because um, my family moved recently to mm-hmm. a different apartment. Um, and it is like a great apartment. And they're like, quote unquote, luxury apartments, which I think just means that they have like a marble counter. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. And like the aluminum, or not aluminum, like the uh, metal appliances, you know, like Uh refrigerator and dishwasher. I think that's all that luxury means. Mm -hmm. Everything else, basically the same. So no one feeds you grapes or no one fans you with the palm branch? No one feeds me grapes. You know, I go out every day to my car and it's not a Lexus. It's a Toyota. Uh Uh-huh. So, no one drives it up to the curb for you. Yeah, none of that. It's just, and I have to take the stairs every day. <laughs> uh, I do the stairs voluntarily. So the the only thing that isn't very luxurious, though, is that our house or our apartment does not have ceiling fans. When we moved in, we, uh, like day two, it was warm, and we looked up and we said, hey, wait a minute, there's no ceiling fans. Now, for the record, we did not notice that when we were doing the, you know, uh-huh. check out the apartment, when we were doing checking out apartments to live in. So yeah. it was our fault. But we just like never even thought to look up because we just assumed, oh yeah, it's Texas. Yeah. All places are gonna have ceiling fans. Totally. Listed. So fans have been on my mind because we had to go buy fans and install them and so Man. Yeah. Dang it, dude. I'm ready to ready to fan this uh part of my life away. <laughs> yeah, that's such a bummer. It is one of the things that I could easily see myself also not noticing. Yeah. Like I don't know, there's just so many other things that are already on your list of things to really take care of and make sure yep. are there. And then, like, looking at the ceiling and thinking, hmm, something's missing. Especially if you mm-hmm. toured it on a day that wasn't hot, you were not thinking about it. You know what I mean? It's yeah, like, exactly. We weren't. It was a cold day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, um, you, know, you know something I'm a fan of? What? So, Jason and his wife moved and kid moved, and they now live 12 minutes from me. That's as right. As opposed to the 38 minutes they used to live from me. That's true. But mm-hmm. it feels like we're 19 miles apart because of just the world situation that we live yeah. in. <laughs> I don't want to say anything. It's kind of awkward, but there's some virus <clears throat> that is kind of affecting things. Yep. This no, is, no offense. Uh... <laughs> I have a lot of thoughts about fans, or not a lot. Really? I'm very fond of fans. I think oh. I am a fan of my own in a fanatic kind of way, but I'm also a fanatic about fans, meaning the things that move air around. Mm-hmm. So if two things I love about fans. Please tell me. One, and I and I use one every night, all night. I love the movement of air. Uh, mm-hmm. It makes a huge difference. And obviously at night, like only part of your body is actually outside of the covers in some way. So like mm-hmm. having air moving across my face makes a huge difference. Mm. And also the sound. I love like having a 
white noise kind of sound to it. And nothing really beats an actual thing that's actually making noise. If you just like played like, you know, uh, white noise or fan sounds on Spotify or whatever, um, it's not yeah. the same thing. Having an Call actual <laughs> thing next to you is amazing. Uh, so you, you're talking about like one of the fans that's on the floor. It's not a ceiling fan. We have a ceiling fan, and my wife and I both have small fans on our nightstands that point at us. Oh, holy cow. Wow. Yeah, it's a little intense. That our, is a little intense. Our ceiling fan is not amazing. In fact, it actually kind of squeaks a little bit. I need to figure mm-hmm. that out. So we don't use it as much. So we we do use it. We just have to use it on a low speed. Yeah, I was going to say, because like a lot of ceiling fans I've encountered growing up, like our new fans that we just install on our ceilings are whisper quiet like they'll be on full speed and all you hear is like the rustling of curtains in the room like you don't hear them at all that's why i was like what white noise there's no white noise yeah growing up my perception of ceiling fans and the noise they make is either squeaking or like that little slight clanging noise of like the cord Uh uh hitting the glass uh, a rim of one of the lights of this is this like all night long just like ding 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 uh-huh 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 yep so i'm like i remember being like in a <laughs> you know hot room and i'm at a sleepover at my friend's house and we're sleeping in the game room and it's just like all night long the fan is like this 20 year old fan and it's just like ding 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 <laughs> it's like all night long uh-huh. <laughs> but we're like we need it because the ac is not on and we need a fan yeah i know exactly what i mean we don't use our That's- ceiling fans as much during the yeah. night because of that. But um, having the That's fans sweet, on sweet our nightstands is huge. And the, night, the white noise is great for us and also for our dogs. So they don't hear, like, yeah. if they heard, like, so much as, like, a possum, you know, break a twig or something like that, they would think that the <laughs> sky is falling. And so, <laughs> let alone, like, another animal bark or whatever. So having, yeah. this, having the fans on drowns out sounds and keeps our dogs from waking up and barking at stuff and, and in turn waking us up. So it's kind of like yeah. everybody wins. Yeah. I've heard a little bit of research. Again, we're not experts, so we can't give the final verdict on this. But I've heard that having some sort of constant noise actually helps people sleep better. Mm-hmm. That's why some people do have uh, white noise. Like Marlene and I have a white noise machine, um, mostly to block out the sound of uh, neighbors mm-hmm. or cars in the parking lot or whatever. So it kind of helps a little bit with apartment life. But I've heard that does help. So, but fans like weren't created to be noisy. They were just created to blow air. Right, right, right. But the you know uh, the one of the unintended consequences of it is that you get you know natural white noise. Yeah, I bet it'll be a day where they've like made most fans not really make much sound, and everybody's like, oh man, or at least like at least like a yeah. sizable amount of the population will be like, hey, wait, could we like make these noisy again? <laughs> Or they'll like make these suits that are just like cool your body, like it senses your temperature and like cools your body yeah. all night. That'd be crazy. So I think it's safe to say that we're both <laughs> a fan of fans. I I think we're fans of both parts of that word. Mm-hmm. We're, we're fans to the the fullest extent of the word. We didn't really get into the other other side of fans, like fanatics. But what should we say? Like a couple things that we're huge fans of that aren't fans. Ooh, that's a great question. I'm a fan of Spotify. Uh, I love music, but I'm going to say specifically Spotify because it's fun. I'm a fan of Loose Leaf Tea. Oh, nice. And I'm a fan of Baked Goods. Mm. Touche. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I'm a fan of film, movies, and I am a fan of coffee. And while you're a fan of baked goods, I am a fan of tacos. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Complete opposites. Mm-hmm. But look at us. While Jason and I are complete opposites, like music and film opposites, uh, coffee and tea opposites, baked goods and tacos <laughs> opposites, we're still getting along. So I'm, and I'm a we're, fan of Jason. So Oh, I was about to say, I'm a fan of you, too. Man. It's like at the end of the day, it's like, yeah, let's just hug it out, except uh, we can't. We can't. Because of um, fans. They blow me away. Fans. They're people, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think this fan's running out of wind, so um, let's wrap it up. <laughs> anyway, I didn't run out of wind. It's like, sorry, there's nothing more. I'm sorry. I don't have anything else. 
Anyway, you guys get it. We are out of time. So (laughs) we'll talk to you next week. Stay frosty, ladies and gentlemen.